Have we found the solution to camel toe? <gasps> My mom cannot see this. I am actually blown away at how comfortable these underwear are. Y'all are both going above and beyond. <laughs> Listen, you guys, take it from me. CCT has been a part of my life for a very long time. I have to say this with a serious face, but this is a very serious thing, all right? The chronic yeah. camel toe. And I have chronic camel toe. <laughs> CCT. I have chronic camel toe, you guys. <laughs> CCT. <laughs> and if you are a fellow camel toe sufferer, oh. stop thinking of it as suffering. Embrace the camel toe, okay? What? Camel toe is the effect of a very tight pair of pants that because they are so tight, they accentuate the outer genital area. What? Camel toe. I, yeah, I heard you. I don't want my vagina on display. And so we have found these products that hopefully live up to their name to help us eliminate the camel toe. For me, I don't usually have issues with camo toe. <laughs> Did you She's... say camo toe? <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny. I feel like I don't notice enough to know if I struggle with it, and I'd be like, now I will know. Also, if you're confused, it's called a camel toe because if you direct your attention to a camel's toe, yeah. it looks like a little coin purse, mm -hmm. as does our hoo ha. Mm -hmm. Wait, do lips. people call that a, a coin purse? I do. Drew does. <laughs> it's I a was coin like, purse. I've heard that before. Get it? Because she's like, with the. The lips. CTC, cover the camel. The JIV Athletic Camel Toe Proof Thong we actually read about on Pop Sugar, and it ranges in prices from $32 to $34. It's also available in three colors, as well as in sizes extra small through large. Now, these underwear do claim to have camel toe proof technology. The cutting edge fabric is the key to looking flawless in your tightest leggings. Full coverage allows you to keep your privates, well, private. So they are supposed to be breathable and they're made from recycled materials along with cotton, which is the safest fabric for your V. And that lines the inside of the garment. Plus they come in high rise, mid rise, and low rise. All right, let's talk about maybe the softest underwear ever. I am actually blown away at how comfortable these underwear are. Mm. When I, you know, I touched it and I looked at the pad area, it's very thick and I was like, I'm not gonna like this but I don't necessarily feel like I think any differently about this underwear than I do about my own underwear. And I don't have like 17 layers of material mm. in the middle of my underwear. It is so soft, it is so comfortable. We're all wearing the mid-rise. I think this is a truly seamless underwear, like actually seamless. And I do really appreciate that. Looking at the V, uh, I feel like it definitely alleviated some of the lines. Mm -hmm. um, a hundred percent. I agree that it's like so comfortable and very seamless. And I love the fact that you can wear these with so an outfit that would otherwise have a panty line. So you make mm -hmm. it so you don't have a panty line. Yes, there is like a little pillow down there. Mm -hmm. Like it's very soft and cushioned, but correct me if I'm wrong. Like, I feel like it's making my vagina more prominent than it was <laughs> when I didn't have these on. That's what I feel. Like, I feel like it's like, like, it's flattened it though, and that is, remember, that is what you're trying to achieve. Mine's far in the front, right, and yeah. it's like to the side. Like I can't get it to like rest in the middle. Yeah, and also like if it shifts, yeah. it's gonna create like a little mountain next to your... Yeah, maybe I need to like size up then if it's like moving around like that. I don't know. I love the material. Mm -hmm. It's literally seamless, but it also has like a compression to it that yeah. Yeah. it doesn't feel restricting. It just feels like it fits properly, mm -hmm. um, but that pad is not doing it for me. I don't know. I think I would be more willing to wear these probably with like a leather legging or like a yeah. faux leather, faux latex type of situation. Yeah. I have to give this a camel toe. <laughs> that sounds so weird. I have to give it a camel toe because it's helping with the camel toe. I feel like if you have a consistent camel toe issue, you're gonna like this. So I'm gonna give this a camel no toe? I'm in the middle. No to be toe. honest, I don't want to pick a side. I think that it is effective, <laughs> but I don't like the extra padding that it's giving me, mm -hmm. personally. You don't like a little extra cushion? I don't know. Get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get! I think for me, like, going into this, obviously I wasn't really thinking about what that looked like down there, mm. and now I'm thinking about it so much, just because yeah. something is there, and I'm like, 
I don't now know. Now you've walked a few steps in my shoes. I, it's a camel no for me. Um, but I am so happy to be a part of this journey. Yeah. Fruit pie. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay. This next product is Kardashian approved. The Cuccini Camel Toe Guard is reusable, lightweight, and comfortable pad that adheres to undergarments and clothing with clear double-sided fashion tape. It's waterproof so you can wear it in bikini bottoms and swimsuits as well. And get this, it is $20. The Cuccini, which is just a great name. I have to shout out to them because it makes me happy. Is so it because it sounds name? like something you like can get Cucci? at the Olive Garden? You can eat as many dishes as you want to. My, I want it to be fettuccine or something. <laughs> Yeah, like, I was just like, <laughs> anyways. Um, so this one is more noticeable to me yeah. than the thong. Like, I feel like there's a whole pad down there. Mm -hmm. And yes, there is like an adhesive tape that you can put on it to make it more situated. But I just feel like I'm walking yes. like this, you know, yes. because I want her to stay in place. And also if this little guy turns to the side or moves. Game um, over. It's gonna look crazy. So and pretty. in the video, the Cuccini <laughs> video, she was wearing it in the water and I'm like, girl. Yeah, what? what? And like, you need to be careful because like one little jump from the diving board and. Okay, let's talk like about those girls though. We, they hate to see a girl boss winning. I mean, two friends coming up with this company together. How adorable is that? I love it. Very cute. Because some, some secrets are meant, meant to be kept. I understand maybe like wanting the option to not have your goods on display on the beach or whatever. I cannot imagine wearing this in the water and feeling confident mm -hmm. because what is this tape? Did NASA make this tape? It is literally regular old fashioned tape that is not holding up in the water. It's not. Not at all. No. I will say this. I kind of like that it's not attached to the underwear. That was an really? absolute no for me. This at least you can put it where you want right. it to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has anybody seen <laughs> Littlefoot, Bigfoot? It's like the abominable snowman, but then the human discovers him, and mm -hmm. they're like mm -hmm. human and like common mm -hmm. voices. Want to abominable. 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 Debatable. <laughs> Deba oh my god. Anyway, yes. Yes. the dad of the main character, Abominable Snowman. His job is to ring the gong every morning, and he has a flat top head, and that's what it looks like. Push it down. What? <laughs> Why has no hell? one seen it? It's such a good movie. I am <laughs> so me. blown away by that train of thought, but you know what? Respect. Uh, I also really love that the Kardashians talked about the Cuccini probably like a decade ago as well, and they have really, really maximized that. Yeah. Honestly, I would too. Yeah. I would do that too, okay? If the Kardashians were using my product to help their camel toe, mm -hmm. hell yeah, am I gonna post that forever. Stop. <laughs> I would like to know that the coochie has like this little bump in it, yeah. which I guess it's for like comfort for the girl in it's the boat. It's to fill in the little gap though. Think about it like when you have um, caulk your sink, your bathroom Not sink. Caulk. Yeah. <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta caulk that little gap, you know? Ugh. And there's a little divot and you have to put in a nice even layer <laughs> so that it creates a very smooth knoll. Oh yeah, I got that, huh? <laughs> Y'all are both doing a good job of describing it and then going above and beyond <laughs> to give even more description. Like that, both of you. When's the last time you heard, heard the word no? That was like, how did we get here? How did we get here? In regard to camel toe or camel no, it's gonna be a camel no for me. Feels like too big of a pillow. It's the king size pillow, mm, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm with you on that. Um, and my pillowcases are satin. And I feel like this is not. I cannot with this. Protecting this is, those cubes. <laughs> I gotta keep them soft. <laughs> My mom cannot see this. She has one too. Nobody she'll likes understand. frizzy, damaged, and dry cubes. Move the silk. The Cuccini, I don't like. I don't like the, all the extraness. The reason why I did like the thong, even though I know it's weird because it is a thicker thong, it's just there. What you see is what you get. Yeah. I don't want to have to figure out the right placement for the Cuccini. It doesn't make me feel like. I, I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah. So it's definitely for me. It's a camel note. But I had so much fun talking about it. So yeah. in I that sense, you know, it's so a win. I want camel too because I'm just having a good time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mine's making a way down. We would not be here today without the Cuccini. Shout out to the Cuccini. Can we talk about all the different words for vagina? Yeah, all right. Well, I'm a camel now. <laughs> if I didn't get that, if that wasn't clear. Punani. Poo -poo. What, what did you, what did you uh, call it when you grew up? 
I call her my poom poom now. I don't know what I, I call her. I actually have a weird remember. story about this. What? My parents Tell. called it a tinka. Ooh, hate it. And I will never forget, I was in like fourth grade and we were doing our little laps around the gym. And someone was like, my mom said, this is called a vagina. And I was like, it's a tinka. <laughs> and they were like, tinka's cute. Tinka. 